What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock. Oh, we have Daniel Lynch today, and I gotta say, Daniel Lynch, beginning of the year, came up, didn't have his command, and I still felt his stuff was really good. I was hoping for that day when we saw the real Daniel Lynch. Well, I think we got it yesterday. Chicago White Sox are a fantastic offense, and Lynch silenced them, earned himself a gallows pole, which is the award for the most whiffs of any starter in a given night. So we're going to watch the Lynch. We're going to see this third inning. How is he getting these whiffs, these strikeouts? He had seven Ks yesterday against these White Sox. Let's look at him. And first of all, he's a tall guy. He's, he's a big guy. Gets a lot of good extension as well from the left side. He can throw 95 or so on that heater. Uh, but it, really, the main thing we want to focus on today is the slider. He had 12 whiffs yesterday in about 33 thrown. And we're going to see that a little bit here. So let's, let's watch this and see how he's getting his strikes. And there's a first pitch slider, and I got to hand it to the Chicago White Sox uh, broadcast, who then gave it to the Royals here. Um, but uh, and actually, no, this is the White Sox broadcast. They always put the name of the pitch in the thing. It's so good. It's just so good. Like, Thank you so much, Jason Benetti, Stone. You guys are the best. Um, but there's a first pitch breaking ball for a strike. It's free real estate. You guys know this by now. Like, You want that. You want first pitch breaking balls for strikes are just so amazing to see. You get you get an 0-1 count every time. I mean, sometimes they'll be aggressive on it, and if they really think it's coming, they maybe can do something with it. But for the most part, you're just going to get to an 0-1 count, and it's fantastic. So looking at the glove here, I imagine it's going to be another slider. This one just a little bit lower. We'll see what happens. Oh, oh, I just fell off the table. And, you know, that's two two pitches into Garcia. He didn't want to swing at the first pitch breaker, and he's looking for a fastball again. And Lynch just goes into it. I mean, just look how far this falls off here. We're gonna we're gonna look at this. Look, it's this high up so far, so maybe it's gonna go to like here or something like that, and it just dies. Oh my god! <laughs> the amount of break on this pitch is crazy. One more time. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, that's that's a good slider. I'm shocked he had 12 whiffs on it yesterday. So shocked. All right, look look where the glove is. I. <laughs> I mean, what do you think this is? You think it's a fastball in the dirt, guys? No. He's going to do another one. And of course he is because Gar Garcia just whiffed on the previous one. Didn't want to swing the first one. Like, he's waiting for that fastball. You feed him what he struggles at. And all right. So that wasn't I ideal. It wasn't exactly what he wanted. You can actually kind of see a smile from Lynch here where he knows that uh, that's not what he wanted to do at all and didn't matter. I... Uh, that's supposed to be yeah. That's supposed to be down down here. He he left that one up, but Garcia wasn't really ready to hit that slider anyway, so we got strike three. Okay, first pitch fastball coming. Beautiful. Now not only 92, not exactly what we wanted. When he Lynch came back from uh, from his stint in the minors, he was throwing softer than he was earlier this year. There are some questions about that. Sometimes you can think, oh, he's injured or. I, uh, you know, he's not, he's not as effective now. In other ways too, though, you could say he was too amped up before and a little more erratic in his command as he focused more on throwing harder and trying to do too much. And says, so, you know what, I can get by with 93 as opposed to 95. Um, here he's at 92. Um, this is a pretty good location. It's obviously, you want it more here, but this is, I mean, that's a very competitive pitch. Um, and that wasn't an erratic miss. Um, that wasn't a, a little bit more erratic as he's trying to go outside and somehow gets that call. You never get this call. I, I'm absolutely shocked Daniel Lynch got this. I, uh, the ump is right in front of the pitch. And when you see a catcher reach out with his glove so much, umpires are not inclined to give them the pitch. I mean, that's just, uh, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. All right. One, one, probably a breaking ball now. Uh, he tried to do a changeup. Lynch didn't really have his changeup working, and that's actually kind of an exciting thing for me. I know you're saying, Nick, that's not good. He didn't have the pitch. No, it means there's more growth in the future. You know, more room to grow. That's amazing. Uh, he had a slider working. He had success. Imagine that changeup was working too. My God. There's even more potential to unlock with Daniel Lynch. Great fastball. That works. This is a 2-1 pitch, uh, and... He is just trying to say, look, I know, I know Zavala Vala is probably looking for a fastball at this point, but I don't have faith that I can throw a good changeup or slider right now for a strike, so I need to find a place I can put this. And putting this right here, this is great. It's inside enough that, that Zavala doesn't get his hands in to get on the barrel. Instead, it's underneath it. 
Uh, and he grounds it uh, to third for an out. That's a really, really good pitch. Uh, so now you have uh, Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson is a little bit of a free swinger, but he is really good. Really good at pitch guessing. And he's definitely a hitter who is not going to gambit. Uh, he's going to try and feel with the pitcher what they're going to throw him. Uh, very tough out often. So so you got you to gotta really work on sequencing in this one. Start with the first pitch slider. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Um, swung over it. Uh, good location, too. I mean, you could say better away. But honestly, if you are Tim Anderson, you can stay on this and push it to the right field. Inside here, he's got to really be truly guessing it. And, and and also guess the break, which I imagine he doesn't quite have right here as he fouled it off. But he was aggressive on it, thinking he could swing this down the line. And it just broke too much. That means it's foul ball down. Now, I think if I'm Lynch, I see that aggression on the slider and the fact that he was over it. You know, he swung on, on the top of it, fouled it off. Would tell me that he doesn't isn't quite seeing it right and he's not really looking for it um, early on. I'm sure, he could be guessing for it now. But honestly, I would go back to that pitch, especially after you just got a strike and a swing on it. Uh, it looks like they're not though. They're doing. They tried to do a changeup, which I understand. I get that approach, but it just wasn't there. I mean, this is the third inning. He didn't really know if he had it or not yet. I, uh, I get that. That's not. That's not a bad pitch call. And they're avoiding the heater with Anderson. That might be by design here. Um, I. I mean, I think that's okay. You have a really good slider working. Throw more of that. But it looks like they're going fastball up and in. And that's really interesting. That's the same exact end location as the slider before. This one's at 94. Good to see that from, from Lynch and really well spotted. Um, you probably want that a little bit higher up. I mean, the glove was up here for good reason. This is harder to hit than it is down here. You can drop the barrel. But he got it far enough inside that Anderson has upset himself. And now you can throw a slider off of that. And that's exactly what they're going for. You know, this is a, this is a mentality that Clint Kershaw has and Patrick Corbin in his prime has, right? The previous pitch was a fastball inside here. This is where Kershaw lives. And if you have a really, really good slider, what you can do is you can then go down and in and have them swing over the top of that as it looks like a fastball of the glove, of the hand. Let's see what they go with. Oh, and he overthrew it. <laughs> Terrible. He's going to try again. Let's see. Beautiful. Oh, that's so good. That's so, so good. This is the Kalein Kershaw, Patrick Corbin method of throwing a fastball right here down and in. Previous pitch, and then oh, down into the ankles. That is gorgeous. This is literally a pitch of aces. Oh, Daniel Lynch, if you can do that consistently, you will be a legit star in the majors. That's just so hard to do consistently. But that's absolute filth. Like, absolute filth. Oh, So, yeah, that's the potential of Daniel Lynch. I mean, that's why he had 12 sl slider whiffs yesterday. Uh, against the White Sox, I hope he can do that with consistency. Imagine if he unlocks that changeup as well. And the fastball command, I mean, you guys saw it in this one. Sure, he missed that one where it's supposed to be down and away and tugged it inside. But no hittable ones. No down the middle got away with it. It was just one slider that was 0-2 and he got a little bit away with. But nothing on the fastball. Really excited about Daniel Lynch. And I hope, hope this is what we see from him moving forward. All right, that's going to do it for today's Pitcher Video Breakdown. As always, you can watch us live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash PitcherList, Monday through Friday, 9 to 11 a.m., but that's going to do it for today. So as always, may your babbits be low and your strikeout time.